Ready, ready. So welcome to whatever this show is called. Um, I haven't come up with a name yet. It's eight o'clock, and I'm I'm bored. So I thought, well, why not? Um, I've seen a lot of videos, people asking questions, and you know, how do I use this tool? What's the best tool for this? And it's primarily Americans. And they're talking, oh, you need the Dewalt this, or you need the Milwaukee that, and uh, you don't need expensive tools, especially if you're just doing some light DIY stuff around the home. Um, so I thought I'd show off some cheap tools and see what they can do. Um, this isn't my trade, obviously. This is my profession. I'm not a tradie, so I, I mow lawns for a living. Um, but beyond that, we get a lot of elderly customers, and one of their fences may be damaged, or a gate, or you know, just, just stuff, stuff around the home that they need doing, and they can't afford to get a tradie in to do it. And we'll just do little things like that for them. Um, so it's, it's tools are for stuff like that, or just do it around the house sort of stuff. Um, there's some cheeky tips and tricks as well. Um, one tool sort of doing beyond its job, but still applicable. So we'll just go from there. But um, I thought today we'll start with the reciprocating saw. And the reciprocating saw, specifically the Mako reciprocating saw. Um, so they typically come with three blades. You've got your metal blade, your wood blade, and your multi-purpose blade. So the metal blade is for metal. Um, I'm going to cut these nails and screws with it. And I've got a 14mm bolt there that I will also cut through. Um, but you, you can use it for other things, you can use it for wood, um, jib, this one's had a hard life cutting jib, just doing a little patch up work for people, so, um, anyway, we'll get, we'll get to it, cheap tools, um, I like Mako, primarily because the batteries are so cheap, you get quality out of them, but the batteries are cheap, like these, the 5 battery for example, um, 60 bucks each, you think, holy shit, $60, it's like, yeah, but you think about prices of other brands, um, you know, for what you're using it for, $60 for a battery is, is fantastic. Um, but, you know, if that's out of your price range, they do have 4.0s for 40, 50 mark, 3 amp batteries for 20, 30 mark, 2 milliamp, 1 amp. So it's, yeah, it's not rocket science. Um, there's no such thing as a cheap tool, you know, but there's cheaper tools. Um, the only thing I won't stimp out on, obviously, is my glasses. They're pretty cheap, but they're nice um, in my protection. Uh, as I say, I mow lawns for a living. These are fantastic. These are the 3M uh, Bluetooth. So I can listen to my shit while I mow. Um, I don't have to worry about headphones or anything like that. Um, quite often I'll leave the phone in the ute. <clears throat> just tick along mowing. My partner has them as well. And yeah, we just, we just tick along with these on. And if we need to call each other, we can. If a customer calls through, they can. And, you know, we can answer. We don't have to muck around with it. It's fantastic. Especially when your phone's got the... Um, app on it that actually tells you who's calling while it's calling which is great you know who to ignore or who to leave the lawnmower on for while you're talking to them so oh, i'm so busy i can't turn it off anyway we'll get to it so glasses air protection obviously um people that don't wear air protection or air protection are idiots there's no excuse for it i don't care or oh, don't have time oh you don't need it you're a fucking idiot so and they say smokers are bad i think people that don't do this are bad anyway so i've got my metal blade on Got four nails, a screw, and a 14 mil bolt. Um, so there's a safety on here. It's on both sides. When you push the safety on, pull the trigger, you can let go of the safety. As long as the trigger's still on, you're good. This just releases the trigger for use. This releases the trigger for use. Alright. That's good. It's done its job. Um, as you can see there. Still got, still got two bars. Um, that battery's been in the left blower all day. And then it's cut through that. It's fine. I haven't gone right to the end, so there's a bit sticking out, but it is what it is. You don't have to be fancy. Um, but these are great. These are absolutely fantastic. You know, you just end there, twist it round. Pull the blade out, put a new blade in, release, locked on. These are fantastic. And these are, are great multi tools. Um, so we use them for, I don't know, 
I don't know, for some reason in New Zealand, uh, we get a lot of fences that get pushed by the wind. They get pushed off the strainer posts, so the nails can only do so much. Because um, for some reason in New Zealand, fences don't put the strainer posts on the side most exposed to the wind. For example, where I am, we primarily get uh, westerly. Um, so that's how we sort of want them, but a lot of places, a lot of fences that have to give a shit. Neighbours are like, oh, who wants the post? It's like, there's actually a reason strainers are there, it's fantastic. But um, So you'll get, say this is a strainer, you've got your panel here. You have 50 nails sticking through there. I'll just cut through, cut through, bang it on, smack through my um, screw, a couple big, nice, thick screws, big fuck off screws, I call them, and um, they're fantastic. So it's done that. I can now cut wood with it, so we'll give it another go. They're great. They're absolutely fantastic tools. Um, there's very few tools that I would recommend a DIY I have. Um, one of them would be a reciprocating saw. Uh, the second would be a skill saw. And the third is a drill. Drills are just unbelievable. Most amazing tool ever created by men. Uh, follow, through closely, follow through closely by the skill saw. Um, next video I do will be on the drill. And people are, oh, what about? Impact drivers. So yeah, impact drivers are also great. Um, but to a degree, your um drill is an impact driver to a degree, obviously. But we'll talk about that in the next video. Um but yes, I, I don't know, I did the first video. I uh, got like five, six thousand views on it. A lot of people were, oh that's really helped, etc. etc. I thought, well, I'll do some more. Um but yeah, so um, reciprocating saw, absolutely fantastic. Um I went Mako, about 99 bucks. At the warehouse now, they got this one for 70 when it came out. Batteries, cheap as shit, which is fantastic. And as I say, if you can't afford the $60 for the 5 o battery or you think that's expensive, look up other brands and look up their batteries. Um, this won't cut through everything. You don't want it to cut through everything. Um, I get quite a few people there. Oh, can your reciprocating saw cut through a 2 inch bloody metal pipe? That's what the grinder's for. I have the disc on there, but this is, this is what the grinder's for. You don't need it for that. Um, but if you want to cut through some pipe, whether it be uh, plastic conduit or metal pipe or anything like that, fantastic. Um, you want to cut through nails or bolts, fantastic. You want to cut through wood, fantastic. I have hedge clipping gear, obviously, with um, the business, but many, many a time I've pulled out the reciprocating saw and quickly cut through a, a thick branch because I can't be bothered grabbing the chainsaw, can't be bothered grabbing the handsaw, and reciprocating saw just slashes through it, absolutely slashes through it. So it's fantastic. It is in the Ute. Whenever we are in the Ute, um, batteries all interchangeable, obviously between the Mako and they're absolutely fantastic. So, yep, definitely recommend it. Um, next video we'll probably do it on the drill, um, or even look into batteries. A lot of people ask me about, can I use a five milliamp battery in my drill? Can I use a three milliamp battery in the drill? What happens if I put a four? In? And so we'll discuss that in a bit more depth. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, um, words of wisdom to leave you with, tools don't care what gender you are.